All right, so we're here in Amsterdam again, and I'm joined by Dougie from Bearings. How are you doing today, man? I'm doing great, thank you. Thank you for asking. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. You're on tour with Set It Off. Yeah. Are, they, are they like good tour parents? Oh, they're great. Absolutely unreal. We like are so thankful to be able to you know play to their crowd each night because they're just such a recep receptive fan base. Um, and they're just the nicest guys. They've been nothing but cool to us. It's so hard to say when nothing goes wrong, you know what I mean? Because nothing, yeah. it's been such a, an awesome tour for personalities. Yeah. So it's hard to like even comment on because it's like it's, everything's just always chill. Yeah. All right, so uh, enough about tour. Let's, let's talk about music. Uh, yeah. Last year has been a huge year for you, putting out a debut record, yeah. uh, touring a lot. Um, uh, but I want to go uh, like a little while back because the first things I heard from you were from your EP, Nothing Here is Permanent. Cool. You're singing about this place that you call home yeah. um, and I like, like uh, memories from earlier days. Yeah. Um, yeah may maybe it's a bit of an open question, but why, why is that such a part of uh, the music uh, that you make? I think a, a really big part of it is I never want to write a song about something I won't care about in a month from now. You know, I don't want to ever write songs about petty, just being upset or something, you know what I mean? Like, there's definitely parts of life that are upsetting, but I think there's more to it than that, and I want the writing in our music to reflect that. Um, so I guess that's the biggest thing. There's just it, very, there's so many things you can write about. Uh, it seems silly to just write about like the petty, like upset stuff. Like it's, it's worth it to give people a little bit more than that and give yourself credit for more than that. Yeah. Because you write about very personal stuff, um, which I won't dig too deep in, but yes. um, I can imagine that there are people uh, who, who go through uh, similar things or maybe same things. Did you ever have people come to you and say like, hey man, that, that, that shit hit home yeah. for me? Yeah, it happens all the time, uh, especially with North Hansen. It's, it's a song that a lot of people can relate to and, um, you know, I feel for them. I never really know what to say because mm. there's never like a completely right thing to say. It's just, I just go like, ah, oh, like I'm happy you could help you through that time or whatever. Yeah. But yeah, no, it happens all the time. It's, it's kind of crazy. I never expected that. So last year you put out your uh, uh, debut album, uh, Blue in the Dark, mm -hmm. um, and there is this website, Genius, which explains all the lyrics. So I went to the website uh, to see what the lyrics from the song uh, Goodbye to All of Her Friends are about, yeah. but there is no explanation. And I, I feel there's like a, a bit of a, there's a story behind the lyrics, obviously. Can you explain to me what that song is about? Um, that's crazy that no one's ever asked that. I never thought anyone ever would. <laughs> So you got me kind of on my heels on this one. Oh, uh, sorry, sorry, not sorry. No, no, you're good. Um, it's just about, there was a family friend of mine. He was uh, shot and killed. Um, and I wasn't like particularly close to him, but my mom was very, very close with his mom. And uh, so I would kind of hear about it all over the phone. My mom would be like, oh, like there's this thing happening now. And it's one thing like, it's an interesting thing because I think for any parent to lose their kid is like such a, such a, it's, you know, it's so unnatural. I'd met him and like, I feel like we knew each other, but we weren't close by any means. I never wanted like, and I never want to lie about that stuff or like be like, oh, you know, I went through this. But it's more so just like watching what his mom went through more so, like through my mom's eyes, I guess. So it was kind of like a, but um, yeah. does she Does she know the song is there? I don't think so. No? It's probably, I don't know. I always just write songs with, with, I don't know. I, I guess I don't think too much about like whether I almost don't even know if people would want to know if a song was written about their situation or, you know, about, you know, I don't know. <laughs> Especially like some of our angrier songs. I'm like, I really hope I, whoever I wrote the song about doesn't know. <laughs> Are you afraid somebody will ever find out that a song is about them? Uh, sometimes, like sometimes I'll just be like, yo, the song's about you, because a lot of the songs are like either about my girlfriend or about like losing my dad or losing. You know, I've lost so many, it feels like I've lost like so many family members in like the last five years. So stuff like that. And that's why a lot of the songs reflect on that. But um, yeah, no, I'm never really worried about it. It's just like, I feel like I'm a, I'm a little too obvious with it anyways. Yeah. yeah. Where you're from in Canada, like you, you, you started in like a smaller scene, obviously. Yeah. Um, how, how was that? How was the, the, the environment for bands when you start bearings? 
Uh, in Ottawa, it was weird. It was like there wasn't really a whole lot of touring bands or anything like that. So we just kind of had to like learn on our own, I guess. Like there wasn't really anyone to be like, yo, you should do this. It was like, oh, we'll just go play shows wherever we possibly can. And we just tried to do that like a weekend a month. And then it turned into like, you know, a week a month, and then it turned into like, oh, we're going to the States for a couple of weeks, and then, you know, and it just kind of snowballed into something where we were like, oh, this is kind of working out, yeah. and now we're here, so. And since you, like, you're, you're getting bigger, you're, yeah. you're, you're touring the world now, mm -hmm. um, is that scene in Ottawa, is it, are there more bands, like, sprouting because of, because of you, because of what happened, maybe? I think there is, yeah, I think there's definitely really cool younger bands that are coming up, and they're like, oh, yeah, you can be a band from here, and get signed, and do it properly for sure i think that's definitely a thing and i think also though it's so hard to like keep track of everything that goes on back there because like we're, out, we're never home yeah. and a few of us don't have actually moved out of ottawa since so now like we have three members living in toronto and like only two in ottawa but it'll always be our home like it'll always be you know where we consider our hometown show to be. So where you are.